Hello everyone, so I'm Mark, aka Marco. And I'm Bethel, aka Bella, and together we're Marco Bella. So today we're asking the question, how do you spend Valentine's Day? And more importantly, how can you make Valentine more meaningful? Yeah, so a lot of times, I mean, people thinking, oh, I need to book a restaurant, I need to get some gifts, maybe some perfume, maybe a watch, like, I don't know. Flowers. Flowers, box of chocolates. <laughs> like, obviously the shops are going all out right now, selling flowers at ridiculous costs, oh. and like, your pocket is just looking empty right now, and you're thinking, oh could my you? gosh, everything is money, 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 money. But actually, how could you make Valentine's Day unique and different and meaningful to your relationship? So how can you spend that time? Well, and we've got a story for that. So this wasn't on Valentine's, but one, I don't know, probably about five years ago, we took a holiday and went out to the middle of nowhere. Um, and what we had in that holiday was time to mm -hmm. actually just shut out everything social, mm -hmm. um, everything family related, everything of the normal humdrum of life. It was a bit like a pilgrimage because there wasn't even signal there. It was like, <laughs> exactly. it was like Glastonbury. It was like somewhere close to like Glastonbury side. Yeah. yeah. It was literally the middle of nowhere. Our yeah. phones could not work. Like there was no signal for nothing. So all we had was like the books that we wanted to read and yeah. like, and each other. Absolutely. And what was great about that time is that we were able to really tap into the core of who we are mm -hmm not just individually, but as a couple, mm -hmm. um, really look at you know, some of the goals that we set for ourselves in mm -hmm. terms of our marriage, our relationship, what we wanted to accomplish. Um, and so that was a great time for us just to reflect on all of the di different dimensions and the different areas of our relationship that we wanted to improve upon. Yeah, so I guess this Valentine's Day, I mean, it's difficult sometimes if you, you might have kids or you might have busy work yeah. life or whatever, but even if you have a staycation, like even if you just mm. say, okay, once the kids are gone to bed, we're going to go downstairs in the lounge, I don't put some candles on, yeah. have like a little picnic in the lounge. You don't have to spend money to make it romantic, do something no. out of the box. Um, and then maybe just take time to like, take inventory of where you are. Where are you at in this moment of your relationship? Mm. And again, we're going to shout out to the love list. This like, Favorite book, one of our favorite books. <laughs> and one of the points for reflection in the book is if you could make your marriage 10% better in one specific area over the next 12 months, what would it be? So mm. if it was just one thing that you were focusing on on the next 12 months, what would that be? What would that be for us? That's a good question. Really good question. I think, I mean, there's so many different areas I can think of right now, but the one that we always consistently work on is communication. Communication <laughs> is the key to success. <laughs> So one of the things that we've done over time is because, you know, where we've, all of us live busy lives and so, you know, we tend to have events, activities and all the different things happening in our lives. And so one of the ways that we found that really helped us go to the next level in terms of being able to communicate better was to have a calendar. Yeah. Yeah, so what's been great about the calendar, sorry to Android people, um, it's just that we're both on Apple. And we so don't know that Android doesn't have the same feature, but anyway. It probably does. We know that it Apple has does. this feature. But I think what, what that has done for, for us is that it's improved our communication by at least 30%. Yeah. So we have a family calendar because where, where everything goes on there. Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's avoided a lot yeah, of a lot. heated discussions. Because before, about... right, Mark would just like invite people to the house or like just go somewhere without telling me. And then he'd be like, oh, I forgot. Oh, I've got, I forgot this thing is happening today. And I'm like, what? Um, but now that we use the calendar, it's all in the calendar. It's updated yeah, for like yeah. a year. Absolutely. You know, special things go in there. But like, I, so I guess you know so. exactly when something's happening. Yeah. And that way there's no confusion. There's yeah. no arguments. And, and I mean, I know some people don't like phones and gadgets and, and cameras, uh, calendars. But find a way that works for you. Um, and I, I guess what we're saying is communication would be our thing, working on that. Um, mm -hmm. For Probably. me, I would say spending more quality time together. Okay. I'm very clean And when you say moment. more... As you know, I'm expecting... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm expecting... And actually, we're going to be going for a scan later on today. And we need to find out what the baby is. So we're so excited about that because we don't know yet. Um, he thinks it's going to be a girl. I don't know. I'm keeping my options open. But yeah, to find out what, what would you do to improve your relationship. Well, Tell I was going to say to the point that you just mentioned, spending more quality time. So... What we used to do in the past, in the early days when we got married, so in the first sort of probably one to three years, every evening would spend at least 
half an hour. hour what we call couch time. Mm-hmm. We were just having conversation, talking about um, you know what's going well, you know what's uh, what's that framework, what's working. Well, he's talking about. Um, the- Strengthening families. Strengthening families. What's that? What's working well? What are we worried about? And what needs to happen? Well, exactly. Exactly. It's a good framework. So that was a framework similar to that that we'd mm-hmm. use in order to just kind of determine where we are and where we need to be and some of the gaps that we need to cover. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you know, where you, you know, family grows and then you've got other responsibilities, that time that you spend on, that we spent mm-hmm. out on couch time just kind of dwindled. So you and just so, have to be meaningful about it. And like now we have put it in the calendar. So that's an area that we're actively working <laughs> we on, which is calendar, we like, sit down, yeah. we put our phones aside and we actually just talk. So, you yeah. know, what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yeah. Uh, and, then, you know, if there are any areas that we need to address and what that does over the week is that you find that you're closer together yeah. because you know exactly what's happening with the other person. Mm-hmm. Um, your communication is much better because anything that you need to talk about, you've really addressed in those couch time sessions. Yeah. So... We would be keen to know how you plan to spend your Valentine's Day. Yeah. Going to a romantic dinner is also nice too, guys. We're not saying that's not, not nice. We're just saying, how would you like to spend... Hey, nothing dinner? wrong with not cooking for a day. <laughs> that is so true. You know. And also, like, if you have uh, reflected and taken in inventory, what's the one thing you're going to work on um, this year for the next 12 months? We'd love to know. Comment. Um, if there's anything that you want us to post about, let us know. Um, and yeah, have a good love week. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Yep. Yeah.